I know uh, you served uh, in the in, you did some National Guard service in New York uh, during this pandemic. Uh, mm-hmm. When did you when did you learn about this potential end date uh, that would be timed in a way that would deny benefits? Yeah, so it's, a, it's actually interesting. And, and thank you for having me on tonight. Um, I learned about it both from the news, but actually almost simultaneously from my buddies who are still out there. You know, I, I was uh, had the privilege of uh, putting the uniform back on and serving with the famed Fighting 69th Infantry Battalion as we stood up a COVID facility on Staten Island in my congressional district. And so many of those soldiers are still serving, putting their necks on the line there for us, supporting the frontline medical professionals. And for many of them, this was their, or at least for some of them, this was their first deployment. And they were promised benefits. They were told you served 90 days in some type of active duty capacity. And there is a GI Bill waiting for you. There's earlier retirement waiting for you. And then to get this message that it's getting cut short at 88 days, 87 days, it it was killing morale, killing morale. And they deserve so much better. And we're certainly very proud um, that this decision has been reversed. That's the least these soldiers deserve. Well, uh, Congressman, to that point, do we have, do you have confirmation to your satisfaction that this decision has been reversed? No, no, not not certainly uh, until it is officially reversed. Um, no one's doing a victory lap. OK, um, you know, it, it has been reported that it will be likely. It has been reported that it is being considered. It's a sad shame that um, this was ever put out there because they didn't pick 89 days. It's not a coincidence. They didn't just pick it out of the hat. Uh, they did it for to cost to cut costs on the backs of soldiers. And, and, you know, as I said, these soldiers were promised these benefits and the promise wasn't when they were being recruited, hey, we'll give you something at 90 days, but we'll cut you off at 89 anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, So we're going to keep on pushing this. We're going to keep on advocating for this because, as you also noted, it's not like this fight is done. Okay. The, the National Guard is an incredibly versatile force. Uh, in, a, in a natural disaster, they're called up. And certainly when it came to COVID, they've been out there doing everything from mortuary affairs to standing up testing sites to, as I experienced, actually standing up a hospital. And it did not matter. It does not matter what tasks they're given. They do it with their head held high, showing the solidarity that only soldiers can show with now the mission here at home to save lives, get this country revving again so that we can return to some semblance of normalcy. They're not even with their loved ones right now. Believe you me, they want nothing more than to see this country safe and prosperous so they can reunite with their families.